more Shropshire Hill forts, well, one in particular. If you want to see it, keep watching. Third rate content. So welcome back to third rate content. Today we're back at Nestcliff or near Nestcliff at Nestcliff Hill. We were here about a month ago doing um, the, the Humphrey Keniston story. But while while I was here, I noticed there's quite a lot more to uh, Nestcliff Hill. And today we're going to investigate the uh, hill fort, the Iron Age hill fort that's at the top of uh, Nestcliff. Um, it was had an archaeological dug on, dig on it in 2022 and there was some no findings of historical in, uh, national importance but there was uh, very interesting carvings discovered which we'll talk about a bit later and um, and Roman pottery um, discovered then it's actually thought that the hill fort was from perhaps 500 BC but but who knows but when we get up there and have a look We'll have a bit more of a talk about it. But it, for the meantime, we're gonna make our way up the hill. So buckle up and I'll see you out here. Yeah, and we're going this way today. see it very well through the trees is the is the sandstone bluff that makes the back of Oliver Point Oliver's Point and the um, hill fort that we're going to go and have a look at yeah when we were here last time um, I did want to go to the top but didn't have time that day but we're here again and hopefully we will get a rather spectacular view down over Shropshire but we just didn't have time when we were here last time but it's good to get back and investigate the place uh, somewhat fully haven't seen many people up here yet but the car park's quite full it's proper muddy up here unfortunately I haven't got any hiking boots yet Yeah, someone did say on the comments at some point, third rate content, why don't you get some hiking boots on and get out and do some hiking trails, which I haven't done up to yet, or we haven't done up to yet. Um, I haven't, as I said, I haven't got any hiking boots yet. I'm thinking of investing in some, but it's something that I've never really done, <laughs> being the sort of lazy town dweller. But got every intention of doing some of it in 2023. Or should I say, I have been a lazy town dweller up to now. Obviously things are all different now. We're doing third rate content regularly. I'm up for anything, within reason of course. And as long as it's in context for third rate content. Yeah, it's prohibited to mountain bikes, but we're not mountain biking today. We're walking. As I said, I like to walk around places by myself, usually talking to myself while having a laugh by myself. Saved by the very grace that I've got a camera in my hand or on a tripod. <laughs> yeah, and here's this the summit of uh, Nestcliff Hill, known, otherwise known as Oliver's Point. towards the car park there. I want to slip it is quite steep here. See the red sandstone? 
car park right way down there. I'm not going down the fast way though, hopefully. Still lots of snow on the ground up here. And I, and I don't know, I almost slipped there. <laughs> I don't know if this is the archeological trench that was dug in 2022, but like I said earlier, it was, it was dug by the University of Oxford and I believe the University of Southampton. Yeah, these almost look like steps. I think it's just coincidence, possibly. Yeah, the recent archeological dig did find Roman pottery from the second century, which would be uh, the 100s. And as you can see here, you can see this brickwork long time before Belgium in the 1500s. Yeah, and a lot more here, still covered in snow. So yeah, there's definitely a, a fair bit of stuff going on up here. Yeah, but we're only 10 miles from Oswestry Street here. And as we covered before uh, on Oswestry, the Oswestry Street Hill Fort video we did in 2022, I, I imagine these two would have these two hill forts would have been in contact. They could have even been part of the same tribe. I mean, obviously they were occupied for a long time. So, you know, anything could have happened over the years. But at times, I think they'd have been in contact with each other. They'd have had the torches going. They'd have been seeing what's going on, my theory. And um, yeah, I'm sure it could have even been like a satellite because obviously the Oswald Street one was a lot bigger. This could have been a bit of a satellite settlement and i'm just speculating there but i mean it, it makes sense in the 1950s was another archaeological dug dig done in the 1950s 20th century and um the actual geoglyph was found in um in a trench that had had um debris thrown in from the previous dig so they weren't obviously sifting their stuff thoroughly and then um, like I say the people today from the archaeological dig last year aren't sure when it's from but it could be anything yeah and looking at it I'll show you a picture of it I've just showed you a picture one theory is it's a humanoid um, depiction looking at it, it it does look like something from um, prehistory from way back and it could be it could mean anything it kind of looks like a horned figure um, or it could have um, astronomical significance you know, most of these um, things found in ancient sites sites like this have a significance with the stars and um, as as we know ancient man um, felt very much what happened in in the the celestial world had a direct influence down here on the on our you know as above so below sort of thing um so i don't know if that sort of that has been looked into or anybody wants to look into it and comment feel free so this would have been basically the middle of the hill fort very much like at oswestry old oswestry you had the circular ditches around it and then on top you had a sort of a, a place within the perimeter where buildings and houses would have been obviously this is a lot smaller than oswestry street hill fort i haven't read of any associations with lady guinevere in this place of course she was supposed to have been born according to legend at oswestry street hill fort she may have visited though but with uh Oswald Street Hill Fort only being 10 miles away, Lady Guinevere would probably have been fully aware of this place. But of course, Guinevere would have, wouldn't have been anywhere near the start of Oswald Street Hill Fort or the start of, of uh, Nescliffe Hill Fort. She'd have been quite later on. And I'm sure these sites were occupied for thousands and thousands of years in one way or another. I mean, the, 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 the construction they found probably dates from 200 to 500 BC, but a you know a place like this with a really good view, you know, and high up, it would have been in use for a long time. That's my speculation, my third rate speculation. Yeah, 
that's a fantastic view. It's well worth coming up here. Yeah, and just in the distance over there should be Oswestry Street Hill Fort. Can't see it today, it's not 100% clear. Historic rock graffiti. Adam the Woo, is that you? Rodney's pillar in the background there. Can't really see the pillar. See the hill that it's on though. Oh, cool. something's made some big tracks here. Mega trucks, probably the Forestry Commission. Yeah, we're going into a what seems to be a much darker part of the wood. So you've got all these evergreen trees, non deciduous, but yeah, the dark, dark wood. Don't go into the woods at night because underneath the sticks and stones. A lots of little demons enslaved by Annabella waiting just to carry you home. Name the song. Again, evidence of very big track vehicles coming down here. And I must say, I trod in a massive track. Back up there, I almost dropped my tripod and camera uh, into it, so I didn't film it. But I put my foot in it and it like went up over my shoe. So you've really got to watch it up here, especially if you're not looking what you're doing. Look at that stonework. That's old. To use a third rate content catchphrase. I don't know how old. This old abandoned hut cabin in the woods. You know, what? I just watched the original Evil Dead the other couple of weeks ago. Should we go and have a closer look? Yeah, let's do it. It wasn't the first time I watched it, that's for sure. It was about the hundredth, but it gets better every time. It's not night time, although the sun is starting to go down now as it's approaching three o'clock here in January. But we'll go have a look at the abandoned Nestcliff Hill cabin or hut in the woods. something like this where we started third rate content. Let's get over and have a look. Wow, I don't think it was just a barn. Very old fire extinguisher. 1980s or something. Quite an abandoned village, but it's abandoned. It's not straight now, that is not straight now. It's just a matter of time, probably won't be this winter, but it's just probably a matter of time until this place collapses in on itself and all that's left is the concrete base. That's my prediction. And Jensen was here. It's his property, stay away. Yeah, third rate content. It's very, the beginnings of third rate content were an abandoned hut. And here we are, four years, five years later, and we're still covering abandoned huts. This time it's part of a bigger picture. So that was the third rate view, um, visit to uh, Oliver's Point, uh, Nestcliff Hill Fort, um, Nestcliff viewpoints and of course Nestcliff Woods abandoned cabin but um, thank you for watching to the end um, hopefully you appreciate it appreciated and enjoyed the video and I would say you did if you're still here now so uh, good sticking at it I hope you enjoyed your cup of tea but we're finished today um, we'll be back for plenty more third-rate content and if I and uh, 
And if I don't see you soon, I'll see you three times as soon. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and please comment. I do love a good comment and I read them all. But as I said, favorite content, signing out. Bye-bye.